What's up everybody? Today we're gonna to be going over my updated Madden 25 sliders for CPU versus CPU play. I will put this out there again because I do it every video and I still get people in my comments saying that these don't really work how they're playing. I am not making this for people who play the game. That's not the way I enjoy to play the game. I do super slow sim, end of the game stuff, watch the game play out. Those are the sliders that I am creating here today. And this set is actually really not a huge creation of my own doing. I took something of Matt 10s from Operation Sports and I just put a few minor tweaks to it and changed the difficulty. And I, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. I still might end up doing a few adjustments to the quarterback accuracy, but for now, this is what I am rolling with. So we're playing on all pro. I was on all Madden for a little bit, but right now I'm enjoying what all pro is giving me. I thought the, the couple of games that I've seen with the Panthers franchise so far have shown some pretty good stuff. Um, we are on 12 minute quarters with a 12 minute runoff. The play call cooldown, eight on for offense, four for the limit, and then opposite on defense, four for the cooldown, eight on the limit. I do not have anything that dictates whether or not this actually works. I just, this is my preference. I have a feeling that there's something in the back end that will help adjust how many plays are called out of which formations for the CPU because they are very limited on what they will call. So I, I like to set it. If you want to test it without, feel free. This is just the way that I set it up. Dynamic momentum off. I do not want that momentum meter on in any fashion. I haven't liked it since the day it came out. Down to the commissioner settings. I have trade difficulty as very hard and I have free agent motivation impact as high. Reason for this is I, I know that the motivation stuff sometimes doesn't make sense. So I don't want to go very high and end up getting mad because a player is has a stupid motivation and then on top of it, they refuse to do anything about it. Very hard because, well, this game does not do very well with trading logic. It just doesn't. And this is the best way I can combat it is by putting it to very hard. So that's what I do. Staff talent cost modifier I have as slow. If you don't have it at slow, you're probably going to have a lights out staff by the end of your second season, if not earlier than that. And I just don't like that. I don't want to be able to unlock everything in one season. That's not fun. So I put it to slow. It takes a few seasons and you really have to pinpoint where you want to put your points week to week. I, I like it. Progressive fatigue is turned off. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to use this until they announce that they completely reworked the entire system, tested it 1000 million times and proved that it does not affect the game after week 12 of the season because they've said they fixed it. They've said they've tweaked it. It's been in the game for, for a few years now, and yet it still is broken. It, it makes teams not be able to handle their own players properly, the CPU teams, and you end up just going on huge runs at the end of the season. It ruins the immersion. I don't like it at all. So for that reason, it is still off. And now on to the gameplay sliders, the stuff that you guys came here to see. I didn't have a very long video planned, which is unlike me. So I figured let's just do the whole settings thing, right? Let's just get it all out of the way. and We'll update everybody and go from there. So I don't touch anything on player skill, okay? I have nothing to show that it means anything. And I also have nothing to show that it doesn't mean anything. I just leave it alone and I adjust the CPU because I'm not controlling the game at all. For the CPU, I have QB accuracy down to 30. This is subject to change. The quarterback accuracy is absolutely broken this year. Um, I, if I have to get down to zero, I will. I've seen a couple of slider sets going down to zero. I'm not there yet, because I am still seeing some quarterbacks throw in the you know mid to high 60s. And I'm not sure if that's due to them being the worst quarterback or if it's just a, a show through that there is a possibility for having normal games for quarterbacks. But I was still getting some games in the 80s on a consistent basis at 40. So I dropped it to 30. Pass blocking at 40. Wide receiver catching, I brought it up to 40. I was seeing quite a few bad drops, like very bad drops after the update and i didn't like it so we brought that up to 40 run blocking and ball security at at 50 nothing is changing there ball security i may be dropping some on that soon i'm still testing but i haven't seen many fumbles and i want to see fumbles in the game so i will be adjusting that at some point i just have not gotten into it yet so keep an eye out for an update pass defense is at 50 interceptions at 25 pass coverage at 40. i have actually noticed some pretty good coverage I may be moving this up to 50. Haven't really decided quite yet. I don't touch the special team stuff. And then here for game options injuries, I have at 22. Fatigue, I have 52. And then player speed threshold, I have at 65. 
The penalties is where a lot of the gameplay changes I think are being affected from. This is my belief. Again, I have nothing to back this up factually. This is just how I feel and what I've noticed through a lot of different slider uh, creators over the years is they believe that the penalties are actually where a lot of the gameplay is affected and I, I agree with them. I, again, I don't have any 100% concrete proof that this is true, but it sure does feel that way when I make adjustments here. So anyway, I have offsides and false start both at 65, holding at 52. This was at 55 at one point, but it was just too many holds after the patch. Too many holds, there was so many. I had one drive where I went three and out, or I, I didn't go three and I was like six and out or something because I had a, a holding penalty on like four of the plays. It was insane, it was so weird. I've never seen it. it was back to back plays too. It was very, very strange. And after that, I dropped it to 52. I'm still seeing some holding, but I'm not seeing too much of it. And that's what I'm looking for. Face mask is up to 70. DPI is at 65%. I do have intentional grounding off and I have roughing passer turned down to 40. I do not know if the intentional grounding being off is helping or not. I have it off because it gives them more free reign to throw it away, and I hope that that helps balance out the incompletions that we're not seeing right now. But I do have everything else turned on at this point. I have a few people that ask me a lot about the main menu settings, so I will go through those as well here. Uh, this stuff, all the same. Um, over here on passive mechanics, this is one I get asked a lot. I have placement on, slow down off, medium with a seven reticle speed. I don't know if this really affects the quarterback play but i've always had it on and i like what i get sometimes i've i've tried with it off before and i, I don't know if i really noticed much of a difference but i just remember there was a reason i turned it back I, I can't pinpoint what it is right this second but i know i turned it back for some reason or another i leave this on because i i just haven't had a reason to turn it off but i do have heat seeker and switch assist turned off um, and then the main menu setting that you don't see in franchise is the physics based tackling results. I have that turned up to 70. The reason that I have it turned up to 70 is because I want to see running backs be able to make plays and fight through tackles. I feel like too, too much last year, there was a lot of just where, court, where running backs just get stopped dead in their tracks or receivers for that matter, even if they have forward momentum. And, and I'm not a fan of it. So I went ahead and I turned it up to 70 to try and balance that out a little bit. I didn't want to go too high because you don't want running backs just being able to do whatever they want. And I don't want to neuter the, the linebackers. So 70 right now feels pretty good. And that's where my settings have been at. Now, for best results, of course, you want to set them in the main menu and then you want to import them to franchise always. And when you import them to franchise, make sure you reset your sliders before uploading the ones that you saved to the main menu. The one thing that I have not done yet, and that's because I spent a lot of time with College Football 25 for a bit there, <laughs> it did not work out for me. But anyway, now that I'm back on Madden, there's a few things that I have to catch up on that I have been slacking on because I, my attention was elsewhere. One of them is XP sliders for progression. I don't have a good set yet. I don't know if there's gonna need to be a set. I feel like there's going to be because it seems as if they made quite a few adjustments to that area. So if you have your own set you're using, great. If you, would mind sh if you wouldn't mind sharing it, I would appreciate that because I don't have one myself right now and I would love to have one to, tr to test out. But as for that, that's that's pretty, that's all I have for you guys. So we just went over the settings quick, the, the sliders and the main menu stuff. And yeah, so of course, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, there will be updates coming to this. There will be more patches coming, of course. There might be an update to the sliders before the next update to the game. But I have to go through enough games to make a good determination on if I want to change something or not. So I don't want to put that out there now. But just keep an eye out. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you have not already. And then turn on that bell notification so that you know if an update comes out, you don't miss out on it. And I'll see you guys next time.